In this video, we're going to focus on how we can customize the white label ticks here. And as you can see here, I only customize right now this one, but we're going to focus on customizing every single one of them. So let's start to look how to do that. So let's start to look how to customize the Y axis ticks for horizontal bar chart in ChartJS. To do this, first of all, we need to go to chartjs3.com getting started. This specific link, you can find as well in the description box. So once you're in here, just copy this boiler template here. Copy this. If you want to understand this code, make sure you watch this video here. So we're going to paste that in there. We'll cut this out. And then we're going to put that in here. Save, refresh. There we are. Let's maximize the size of this. And then after we will convert it into a horizontal bar chart, making the width here 80%. There we are. That's bigger. And let's convert this now or swap these scales with each other. So it becomes a horizontal bar chart. So we'll go into the options we're going to say index axis and then this will be the y axis so we swap the x with the y there we are so now we want to adjust this but how can we adjust it easily well chart just allows these options but first of all you see here this begin at zero that doesn't make sense i think that would be more appropriate for the x axis so we're going to put that on x and then i'm going to put a comma here we're going to pinpoint the y axis and then what we're going to say here is the ticks. We want to play with the ticks. And with the ticks, we have the callback. And with the callback, we will create what we call a callback uh, uh, function. So normally, I would say uh, we're going to put in here the parameters value index comma values. And by doing this, and you have like this function arrow expression, and then you would return anything you want here. In this case, I'm not doing that. And the reason why is I need to use function here. If I don't use function, I'm not allowed to use a, uh, the this value. So this is very important. This value is re reference to this current chart scale. And uh, uh, so what we need to do here is basically, I'm going to say console log. Let me just show you so you understand what I'm talking about this. If I save this, refresh, Open up the developer tab. You can see here we get now these items here, showing us a lot of information. But you see, because we don't return anything, it doesn't show here anything. Don't worry about that. However, if we will use the shorthand, and it's like this, and you see the function arrow expression, if I do save refresh, oh, surprisingly, it does work. Interesting. Anyway, when I will do this, so let's see if I do a return now, and I say this dot get label for value then i want to grab here the index because i want to get the index number of that label so basically the value or the index number will be converted into a label let's save that refresh you can see we get this error and it says now this get a label for value is not a function however it is a function but because of this function error expression here and this callback functionality that we built we're not allowed to use that. So let's make this and convert it back into the old fashioned style with function. This is really tricky because you don't even know that. Well, I didn't realize it anyway. So if you save this, refresh, you can see it works here all fine. And we get now all the values here nicely. So now we could, for example, here concatenate something, let's say a space, and then plus, uh, oh well, we can just do it here. And we can just say here, uh, days i don't know i'm just making up something refresh you can see a monday days there we are and this works nicely and that's basically the way we can do it we could of course here do an if statement where we say if index let's do that one so if index equals strict number four so that will be probably uh, uh the fourth one is fridays zero one two three four for, uh, sorry, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, Friday here. If number 4, in that case, we will say um, something else. Let's say days like that. And then else, I'm going to say here, just return normal. So you see the differences. If I save it, refresh. You can see here now we have Fridays. Or oh, that should be Friday. That would make be more appropriate. Friday with column, all the others just have a normal value. And that's basically how you can play around by adjusting the scale value.
values or the tick, the white tick labels here accordingly. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to customize the skill even in a different way, for example, you have the numbers, you want to convert it into a text. For example, like this here, where we have a start, low, medium, and high instead of a number value, while well, these are just numerics. So then in that case, I'm going to recommend you this video here on how to customize the Y-Skill labels in Chart.js.